Greg Thomas, and this is Inside Tuscaloosa Running, joined by the president of the Tuscaloosa Track Club, Ed Freeman. Ed, today uh, talking about staying motivated running, and uh, say you know, it's after a long day, and, and you get home, and you get on the couch for a second, you feed up, and you just start feeling, yeah, you know what, I don't feel like going for a run tonight. How do you get past something like that? We, we always all have those days, and every now and then, that's not a bad thing to do. But on a regular basis, the best thing to do is to have a plan. Uh, there's an old adage that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And nothing is more important than running than to have a plan. Uh, you have certain workouts you do at certain times. You have to be flexible on those. But by and large, if you've got a workout plan, you get that done. Uh, it's like brushing your teeth, it's like eating your lunch, anything else, you make an appointment with yourself, you do that, you'll feel better about the rest of the night. Um, also, you've got to incorporate a little bit of fun with it. Go out run with your dog. Uh, put the GPS watch away and just go run for an hour. Uh, have some fun with it. Uh, run in a course that you've never run before. Um, go to a neighborhood that you've never run before. There are some extremely funny things that happen when you run. I had one uh, a couple of years ago. I was running in a neighborhood that I'd never been in before. There was this big group of young kids that were playing football. And uh, they were very good at it, by the way. And, uh, and I ran by and I thought I was doing a fast workout. And they all kind of come over to the edge of the lawn and the littlest one said, well, you're not running very fast, are you? <laughs> and one of the older boys counseled him and, sit, and took him over to the side and he said, oh, he's a jogger. And then all the rest of him is like, oh, like I had some kind of disease or something. <laughs> so it's okay. And uh, um, I, I heard the comment recently that someone wasn't motivated to run because they thought they would come in last. Uh, I've been running for 40 years, and when I was in college, the best race I ran, there were five people on the track at the same time, I came in last. But I treasure that race because I ran a personal record. So people come in last. It's, uh, it's one of those things that happens, somebody has to do it, and it, the people that weren't there, that's fine. Uh, nobody else will ever know except you. Well, you bring up a good point there about those kids saying, oh, he's a jogger. And some people have and this pressure. it's okay pressure. to be a jogger, by right. the way. Well, some people fun. have this pressure going, oh, I'm just slow, I'm not really good, and get unmotivated because of they don't think they're they're fast and they're not running, and, and going a slower pace is not good enough. But it is, though. It's just it just make it is. relaxing and have fun with it, right? Yeah. You get out of it what you put into it. If you want to lose weight, if you want to uh, have some more structure in your life, it, it helps with self-image. There's a variety of things that you can get out of running. Uh, but it's funny, my wife, uh, a, a few races ago, she finished first in her age group. She happened to be the only one in her age group. Don't tell but I, that, right? I told her when she, when she goes back to the hospital on Monday, you don't tell people that. Right. You just stick out your chest and say, I finished first in my age group. Nobody else has to know. <laughs> Hey, for someone that's uh, getting started running or not really into it yet, and when I said relax mm -hmm. from even a slower pace, people look at me like, what do you mean relax? It, it, it clears your mind, doesn't it? Absolutely. It does, the, the experience of getting out there. Absolutely. People running. do all these structured mm -hmm. workouts, and every now and then it's very beneficial just to go run for 30 minutes. <laughs> just just relax, forget about everything. Your, your mind can kind of... Uh, freely associate yeah. and uh, yeah. some of my best ideas have come up while I've been running. Sure, sure. And I would think another way to stay motivated is uh, call up your friends, get with a group, go with other people, make it a social experience. Absolutely. We have many, many groups that meet here in Tuscaloosa and uh, runners are a very unique group. They're very competitive when you get them in a racing situation, but then after it's over, you go have a beer and joke about it and have fun. Uh, you don't have to hate your competitor. Uh, it, it's one of those things that everybody can support each other and it, it makes it very, very fun because of that. Even the Tuscaloosa Track Club, you have a social run event every Monday night? 
every Monday night at Wagner's Run Walk. We meet at six o'clock, run three miles through the Forest Lake neighborhoods. And as a matter of fact, once a month, uh, on the third Monday of the month, uh, we meet, we run from Wagner's Run Walk, walk over to Tzatziki's, Tzatziki's feeds us for free, which is a wonderful thing. Free food's always good. Uh, on, the, uh, on the first Monday of every month, we meet either at Southern Ale House or at Billy's over in Northport, we have our pub run and we'll run for about three miles or so and then Wagner's Run Walk buys the first round. You're on your own after that, but Wagner's buys the first round, which is a lot of fun. On Tuesdays at 5.30, we meet at Sulka Park and run trails. And we've been doing that for over 12 years now and that's a, that's a lot of fun. If you've never run trails, that is, that is the spice of the running community. Uh, running on the roads, it gets you in shape and all that, but the trail is the, the true art of the sport. It, that's the most fun. Ways to stay motivated. Absolutely. Making it fun. Thank you. If you have any questions or suggestions on future topics, feel free to drop me a note, greg.thomas at townsquaremedia.com, and stay up on the latest running tips that are posted. Subscribe to B101.7 on YouTube. For Ed Freeman, I'm Greg Thomas. Thanks for watching Inside Tuscaloosa Running.